a couple of weeks ago, I think it was. I won the Outstanding Contribution Award for Money Marketing, which was outstanding, to paraphrase. Um, it was a very intense night because I couldn't stay for the night. I had to rush off, which was a real shame because I almost didn't get to absorb it in the moment. Kind of had this wonderful um, presentation and accolades, kind of commentary about what I'd done for financial services and the way that I um, have kind of helped to evolve it and then had to just kind of grab the award and run. Um, so it almost the the impact of it was delayed. It kind of took a few days and to sink in and just think what a phenomenal thing it was to receive. I think in financial services there's there's maybe not enough recognition of the good stuff that gets done. Um, it's something in itself is one of the things that we tried to change. We used to do um, our awards that we do each year, we used to say that you couldn't self-nominate, you could only nominate good stuff that you're seeing elsewhere because I think exactly that, it almost doesn't get shouted out as much as it could or it should and because finance often has very negative reputation outside of the industry, it, it's more and more important than ever to keep shouting about the good stuff that people are doing, whether it's kind of a small initiative or a big piece, I think, yeah, it is really key. I was going on holiday the very next morning, which is why I couldn't stay for the awards for the rest of the ceremony. So the the delay for seeing the team and being able to celebrate, it was kind of pushed back a week. Um, but it, it was amazing. And I think because it's one of those things, you get up every day and you go into the office and you do your job. And sometimes it's hard where we provide support services to advisors. So you almost just see that part of what you're doing. It's hard to almost step back and see how you're benefiting those advice firms and in doing that how you're helping to benefit the end client like you're this kind of small part of this this big cog that is trying to do really good stuff for the end client so something like that award is an amazing opportunity to kind of come back in and say to the team like look at this like we've done this and, and kind of collectively we're having that contribution. I think in, in financial services there's a, a number of individuals and businesses who've heard of Verve and I are probably sick of hearing of us, they see us all the time, they see us everywhere. But I think that's still in the minority, I think there's a huge part of the industry that doesn't yet know Verve and doesn't yet know the stuff that we can do to help them. So something like this award is a really powerful way of kind of getting us out there in front of people who might have come across us before and, and we can start to hopefully work with them. There was tears on the night as to how much the whole thing meant because Haley's presentation which was just beautiful it, it just talked about the fact that I am relentless in trying to improve what we do and trying to improve financial services um, I'm a single mom and I run a business and it's it's flipping hard and I think again part of my frustration is there's bigger businesses with deeper pockets and much more time on their hands that could be having an impact and could be doing good for finance and um, but they don't so it's kind of left down to us so um, you just get up every day and you slog and slog and slog. Um, so actually somebody, and you know, a company kind of stepping back and going like, we see it and, you know, we really kind of appreciate it. It does mean a lot.